Hello once more. Um, these are going to be more advanced strategies and secrets to beat more advanced players. The first um, advanced technique and secret is to prevent your opponent from developing a single corner. So whatever opening they start with, whether it be Old Faithful, of course, you just exchange if it's Old Faithful. And then, of course, you're going to head for your sweet spot, as explained in the first video on how to win 90% of the time. So as long as it's safe to develop your single corner, um, you then move your checkers out. Out of the single corner. And of course, he's trying to do the same thing. best technique um, to stop them from doing that. Do you see it? I'll give you a couple of um, seconds to see which checker you should move to stop them from um, developing this single corner. Of course, um, <laughs> if you move your checker there, he's going to get a three shot. So did you see where you should move that checker? If you did, then you're well on your way of becoming a much better player. So, of course, that is the best position to move it because it stops him from um, moving this checker. The second strategy or secret is to always move your checker to a position that would result in them losing a checker. So by doing this, if um, your opponent moves his checker in either direction or those two checkers, of course, he will give you a two shot or he's going to create an elbow. So now he's only, you've limited it to, to him having only two, three possible moves. He can move there, he can move there, he can move there. And then the third uh, secret or uh, tragedy is to force your bonus checker to the dog houses. There are two dog houses, one on the left and one on the right. And they're called dog houses because it uh, makes it very difficult for the, your opponent to use this checker. Now, this is actually a trap um, set up by uh, my opponent, Strange in Town. If I, I don't know if you see it, um, but he did that on purpose. Um, and I've fallen for this trap before, but if I move my checker there, he's going to get a three shot. So all you do is to make a wait and move until he's forced to go into the second doghouse. And I did eventually win the game. The fourth strategy or secret is to pin two of your opponent's back checkers with one of ears. Can you see how you can do that? I will give you a few moments to see if you can work this out. But it involves um, a pitch and then a squeeze, just to give you a, um, a hint.
And now one checker is guarding two checkers, okay, when you take. And of course, if he moves one of those checkers out, you can go and get a king. And of course, um, once you have a king, you have a very good chance of winning. This fifth one is the important squares to occupy whenever possible. We discussed already um, keeping your checkers, um, the checkers on your back line, because of course, if you don't move those out, your, your opponent cannot get a king. And one of the very important um, square in the end game is that checker there. And also, as you know, on the left, on the right hand side is my Achilles heel. So if you can tr control, put a check on his Achilles heels, heel, then of course, um, you have a good chance of winning. And of course, there's uh, other um, squares like the center and also your sweet spot, which I discussed before. The sixth technique or, um, or secret is to set double exposure traps. Now, this is one of the more difficult traps to set, and it does um, take a little while to gain the skill of doing so. So what it, it involves is to give your opponent a choice of which um, checker to take first, but it doesn't matter which checker he takes, you still end up with um, an extra checker. At the moment, um, he has nine checkers and I have 10 checkers, so I'm one checker ahead. But again, if you take the wrong way, um, <laughs> you'll end up with the same amount of checkers. So do you see which is the correct way to take? Yes, the, um, that is the correct way to um, take the checker, not the other way around. And then he has to take that checker on the top, and then you take uh, two checkers now, and then you end up with an um, extra checker. He has now six, and you have um, now eight. And you still have your uh, anchor checkers, so it's impossible for him to win. The same technique is the art of the sacrifice or gambit. Now, once you have a, your anchor checkers in place, and it's almost impossible for him to get a king, um, what you can do is to sacrifice a checker. Okay, you can sacrifice or pitch it first of all, and then squeeze that um, checker that took your checker and get a king. And because you have your anchor checkers in place, um, you will more than often win. The worst case scenario is that you will um, get a draw if he's a very skillful um, opponent. The eighth um, technique or secret is determine whether you have the opposition or not um, and how to change it. This is especially important in the end game when you want to face off your checkers. Now, to decide whether, determine whether you have the opposition or not, once you've made your move, you have to count the um, checkers occupying the squares and the columns above your back squares. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six checkers on your back square, um, uh, along the back squares. And therefore, if it's an even number, you don't have the opposition. And to make it, um, to change your opposition, um, you have to make it an odd number. Odd means that you have the opposition. Odd mean, begins with O, and O means opposition. And this is very important to face off your checkers in the end game. The only way to change it is to exchange like that. And you'll see now that once you exchange, if you count the, uh, the checkers in the columns above your back square, once um, he takes and you take,
You know that one, two, three, four, five. So it's now odd. And the last one and very important is your ability to count moves to make sure that you will end up with the last move before your opponent self destructs. So in this scenario, against a, a better um, a, a player that has a higher score than than I do, you have to count that you end up. Um, having more moves than he has. So in this scenario, you can count the moves that he has. He has one, um, he has two, he has three. So to limit his, um, you know, movement, the best move is to play, place a checker there, and then you count again. He has one, he's got two, and then you have um, one, two, three, four, so now if he moves there, um, he's limited himself because all you have to do is to move your checker there. And then he has to um, obviously block the move or else he'll give up two checkers. So once you move your checker there, you can gain count the possible moves once he's um, defended a checker. So now he has a possibility of one, two moves, and you have one, two, three. So you have at least one more possible than he has, and, and that indicates that you're going to win because he has to um, give up, um, in this scenario, at least two checkers. So your best move is to uh, move there. and then here. So now wherever he moves, he's going to give up either one checker or two checkers. And now you have the advantage to win. Hello everyone. I just wanted to thank you for watching our videos and subscribing. I am really enjoying making these videos and hope they are helping you improve your game. Checkers is such an easy game to learn to play but like chess, it's very difficult to master. I've played over 30,000 games now online, and, but I still make silly mistakes, either because I get distracted or I um, lose concentration, because I play several hours a day, and also I'm actually over 73 years of age. Um, but I like playing because obviously it keeps my mind very active. We have organized our videos um, so that um, if you're a beginner, you can watch the beginning series. If you're an intermediate player, you can watch some intermediate videos. And also, um, there are now going to be some videos for more advanced players, all the way up to expert or master level. If you have any requests or suggestions, please let us know. My email address is patcws2001 at yahoo.com. I will be also happy to play anyone online and through the um, app, app um, called Hackstrom, um, online checkers, play with friends upon request. And I will record the game with live commentary on how I win, lose, or draw. And with, your, and with your permission, I will publish it. So thank you once more, and have a great day. Bye.